Why does my cat growl when I pick her up? Explained. Welcome to the cat and dog house, where we help cat and dog parents better understand their pets. I'm Susan Nilsson and I'm an accredited cat and dog behavior professional. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the many possible reasons cats growl when you try to pick them up. Growling is a common behavior and a crucial part of feline communication. It's like a signal to other cats, or people, to stop doing something the cat doesn't like, and to move away to avoid potential consequences. Cats use growling in defensive and aggressive situations to express negative emotions, like fear, anger, stress, frustration and anxiety. In nature, cats are both hunters and hunted. If your cat isn't used to being picked up or doesn't trust the person doing it, she might feel scared and vulnerable when lifted off the ground, like if she was suddenly grabbed by a predator. Growling is her way of expressing fear and her desire to get back down to a place where she feels safe. If her warnings are ignored and she continues to feel unsafe, she may escalate to hissing, scratching, and biting in an attempt to escape the perceived threat. It's important to remember that in these intense moments, cats act on instinct rather than rational thought. Even if your cat trusts you completely, she may still react defensively because her main priority is finding safety. Fight or flight, in other words. One of the most common reasons why cats growl when being picked up is because they are in pain or feel some kind of discomfort. Arthritis, dental disease, trauma, and infections are just some of the conditions that can cause pain and subsequent aggression when a cat is touched, or thinks he or she might be touched, in a painful area. Cognitive decline, a loss of normal sensory input, or neurological problems can all lead to aggression too. Dr. Jessica Vogelsang. One of our rescued Dubai street cats, Oakley, has a spinal injury likely from being hit by a car. Despite being on pain medication, he lashes out to protect himself if touched anywhere near the injury. You can see the dent in his back here. Ironically, Oakley loves being picked up for a cuddle, so I hold him in a way that he feels fully supported and make sure I never go anywhere near his back. Sometimes then, you may just need to find the best position for your cat. While some cats are quite happy to be picked up and drape themselves around your neck or across your shoulders, others do not feel safe at all being suspended in mid-air. I've found that the cats we have had from kittenhood are generally far more comfortable with being picked up than any of the adult cats we've rescued over the years. And while some don't mind being picked up, they generally like to be fully supported so they feel safe. Cats, just like people, have a strong need for personal space to feel safe, secure and in control of their surroundings. When you pick up your cat, she no longer has control over her environment or whereabouts, which may make her feel scared and anxious. Things like sudden movements, loud noises, new places, or encounters with unfamiliar people can also trigger fear or anxiety in cats. These reactions can be intensified if a cat has had traumatic experiences in the past. This brings us to what's known as trigger stacking. When cats find themselves in stressful situations, like going to the vet, moving house, having visitors, or a new baby in the home, they may feel overwhelmed and unable to cope with something they would normally be okay with, like being picked up. Trigger stacking is a term used to describe a situation where multiple stressful events accumulate and build up, leading to an exaggerated or overwhelmed response. It's like adding one stressor on top of another to the point where the cat can't take it anymore. For example, let's say your cat is already feeling anxious because of a loud noise, like fireworks or the garbage truck. If she is then exposed to additional triggers, like new people, the vacuum cleaner, or a vet visit, her anxiety can increase even more. Each trigger adds to her stress levels and she may reach a point where she can no longer cope. This can lead to stronger emotional or behavioral reactions than usual. Sometimes, cats growl when you pick them up because they are already emotionally stirred up and can't handle anything else at that moment. Let's say your cat has just seen the neighborhood tomcat passing by the window and is already on high alert in defensive mode, ready to zoom outside and chase him off her territory. But you haven't noticed that, and try to pick her up for a quick cuddle. Not right now says your hissing cat while expressing her displeasure with a low-pitched growl and a swift lashing out with her sharp claws. This type of displaced aggressive response is known as transferred aggression. If your cat didn't receive much handling during her early kittenhood, 
she may not be terribly accustomed to human contact. As a result, being picked up may make her feel uneasy, and she may growl at you to express her discomfort. Sometimes cats have specific preferences when it comes to who they allow to pick them up. This can happen when a cat has developed a strong bond with one particular person and there is mutual trust between them. So while your cat will accept being picked up by one or two specific people, she remains strictly off limits to everyone else. Lastly, sometimes your cat may simply not want to be picked up. Cats have their own preferences about how they are handled, or not, and can be quite vocal when they don't feel like being petted or touched. It's always best to pay attention to your cat's body language to determine if she would actually prefer not to be picked up in the first place. You can see rescue kitten Dylan here is quite happy about it. This cat on the other hand is tolerating it, but is also quite keen to escape. To learn to better understand your cat's body language, make sure you download my free cat body language cheat sheet made easy, link below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on cat behavior. To get more insider insights into why cats do what they do, check out my cat behavior playlist where I talk about all sorts, from fear and aggression, to coping with vet visits, to feline musical preferences, and much more, link above and below. Thanks for watching. Come see us at catanddoghouse.com slash cats.